today we're going to talk about an important part of using loops and that's making sure you understand what's really going on. So we're going to label the parts of a loop. We're going to label the important things that we use such as incrementing, accumulating, initializing, and then we're going to trace some loops and figure out what's happening and when they stop and how many times they iterate. So the first part of this is just labeling the parts, incrementing, accumulating, and initializing. Let's start with initializing. So initializing, if we look at the definition from our website, initialize is assigning the first value to a variable or initial value. So that's the word initialize. So anytime we set something, usually it's going to be zero. Sometimes you're going to initialize to one, like if you're multiplying, but when in doubt, start with zero and see if it works out. So in our first problem right here, x equals zero, that's initialize. Now the next one we're talking about is accumulate. That's when you're getting a total. So I've got, and this one right here, I'm not getting any kind of total, so I don't have accumulate. But what's increment? We've done this before. When I'm going to add usually one. So if I look on this right here, x plus equals one, that's my increment. Now you're not asked to do this, but can you find the condition? That would be right here, x less than or equal to zero. We've got our header, we've got our statement block. And let's take a look at the next problem. We've got some initializing going on here. So let's circle and label the initializing. A equals one and B equals zero. It's the first value. It's not doing any math. It's simply assigning the first value. Initialize. I've got my condition here, A less than five. Then I've got B plus equals A. Now notice what I'm adding to it is not a, a specific number, it's a variable. So this is accumulate. When I'm taking a number and I'm adding something to it each time. Then I've got A plus equals two. I'm adding the same number every time. So this is gonna be my increment. Let's take a look at our third problem. Let's first do our initialize. Anytime we're setting the first value, so I've got x equals 0, y equals 10, z equals 0. All three of these, it's the first value, and I'm always going to initialize outside of a loop, before a loop starts. That's when you want to do the initializing. I've got my condition, Okay, and then I've got i plus equals 1. It's the same number every time. I've got z plus equals 1. It's the same number every time. So both of these, this is my increment. Now the one in the middle is just a little bit different. Y minus equals one. Now it is the same number every time. So it's not gonna be accumulate, which would be a variable right here, but I'm not adding either, I'm subtracting. So this one's similar, but it's actually decrement. So instead of increase, I'm decreasing. Decrement. Not much different. Now for the next part of the assignment, we're actually going to trace the loops. We're going to figure out what's happening inside and how many times does this loop actually iterate. So I like to do it with a little t-chart. So I only have one variable here, x. I'm going to keep track. Its initial value is 0. And I'm also going to keep track of my loops. How many times does it loop? And right now it hasn't looped at all. So I've initialized my variable. The first thing I'm going to do is check the condition. Is it true? Is x less than or equal to 0? Yes. So I'm going to do one loop. Now I'm going inside the body of the loop, x plus equals one. 
So it's no longer one, I'm adding one to it. I'm gonna come back to here, and I'm gonna check my condition again. Is x less than or equal to zero? Well, it's one. One is not less than or equal to zero. My condition is false, and I stop right there. So how many iterations were done? One, one iteration. Let's take a look at the next problem. I have two variables here. I have a and b. So I'm gonna do a little chart for each one. A starts at one and B starts at zero. And then I'm gonna keep track of my loops, and I haven't done any yet. I'm gonna check my condition. Is A less than five? A is one. That is true. So I'm gonna do one loop, and let's go inside. B is gonna become the old value of B, and I'm gonna add A to it. So zero plus one gives me zero, one. Now I'm gonna increment A. I'm gonna add two to its current value. It becomes three. I've done one iteration. Let's go back up here. Let's check our condition. Is A less than five? Three is less than five, so I'm gonna do a second loop. I'm gonna come inside. B is gonna take its old value, and I'm gonna add A to it. So one plus three, that gives me four. I'm gonna increment A by two, take the old value, add two to it, becomes five. Now I finished my second iteration. I'm gonna come up here, is A less than five? Well, five is not less than five, so I stop right there, two iterations. Okay, let's try our third problem. I've got X and Y and Z. X is zero, Y is 10, and z is zero. And let's keep track of how many times we do our loop. I'm gonna start with my condition. Is x less than y? x is zero, y is 10, yes. I'm gonna do one loop. Now, inside I'm gonna take, well it says i, but it really it's supposed to be an x. Let's just change that. x plus equals one, I'm just gonna add one to it. I'm gonna decrement y by one, so it's gonna become nine, and for z I'm gonna add one. I'm not really doing anything with z, but I'm gonna increment. Now I'm finished, I'm gonna come right back up to here. Is x less than y? x is one, y is nine, so yes. I'm gonna do a second iteration. Let's go inside. For x, I'm gonna increment, becomes two. y, I'm gonna decrement, it becomes eight. And z, I'm gonna increment. I come up here, is x less than y? Two is less than eight, yes. I'm gonna do another iteration. Now I'm gonna repeat this process. I'm gonna increment, I'm gonna decrement, and I'm gonna increment. I finish, I come back here, check again. Is x three less than y seven? Yes, I'm gonna do another iteration. I'm gonna increment, I'm gonna decrement, and I'm gonna increment, I finished. Come back up here, check again. Is y x less than y. Yes, I'm gonna do another iteration. Here we go. Increment, decrement, increment. I finish. Come back up here again. Is x less than y? No. Five is not less than five. I finished. I no longer do the body and I did five iterations. So for your assignment, you're gonna do some similar problems you're first of all gonna have to label the parts. So can you label the increments, the accumulates, and the initializes? Do that for all your problems. Then you're gonna come back and you're gonna hand trace. So keep track of every variable and how many times you iterate. Work with a partner and compare your answers. And then once you finish with your partners, then check with another partner and see if everybody still agrees. If not, try working the problems over again. All right, have a good time.